Hey guys, Tasha here from Stardust Gold Crochet. This week's Saturday stitch tutorial is a daisy in a square. A daisy in a square. It's very awesome. It's really actually not too difficult to work up once you learn the repeats, just like normal. And I worked it up in a solid color and also a tricolor. The tutorial is in the tricolor. Um, and as you can see, it's really good to block them because this one's blocked and this one's not blocked. So go ahead, grab your hook and your yarn, and we'll start this tutorial. Thanks for stopping by. And for this tutorial, I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook. I'm using stone washed again, because I really love this yarn. Um, the three colors that I'm using are, this one is called it's at number 828, and it's called Lar Larimar. I don't know if I pronounced that right. And then this one is called uh, Cit Citrine? Citrine. And the color number is 817. And then the white is 821, and it's called Pink Quartzite, which it's kind of a an off-white color which is really nice. We're going to work a magic circle or you can do a chain five and then join the chain and work into the center of the ring but I'm going to work a magic circle to start because I prefer magic circles just because they're easier to me and then I'm going to go ahead and chain one. So we're going to work 12 single crochets into the ring got one, two, oops, three, four, five, and you can go ahead and pause the video if you'd like, and then come back when you have 12. I've completed my 12, and I will now tighten up my magic ring. So we're going to change to white for round two. I'm going to leave this hole just a little bit wide right now. Um, and that'll be okay because I can always tighten it up later. So I'm going to grab my second yarn, which is going to be the white color. And I'm going to join it while I, while I join into the first single crochet. So you join with a slip stitch by inserting into the first stitch. Then you're going to lay your color over, pull through, and then pull through again. So for round two, we're going to, I'm going to pull things tight a little bit, just a tad. There we go. For round two, the it begins with a chain 11. So we're going to chain 11. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. After you chain eleven, we're going to work a slip stitch into the same as the base chain it, and then we're going to com continue that around the entire loop. So you chain eleven. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And then we're going to go down and work in a slip stitch into the next single crochet. And you repeat that twelve times all the way around. So let's pause the video and then come back when we're finished. All right, so here I have my eleven. And I'm going to go ahead and do a slip stitch into the very last single crochet. Okay, and so to begin round three, we're going to work in our white color up until we get to this point, and then we're going to change to blue or whatever you want to use for your background color. So to start, we're going to do a slip stitch in each of the first six. So, but, but on that sixth one, we're going to change colors. So there I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two. Three, four, five, and then on our sixth one, I'm going to insert my hook, but before I complete it, I'm going to add my blue and pull through with the blue. So I created my six, and now we're going to chain four with the new color and then we're going to single crochet into the sixth chain of the next loop which is right here so we're going to count one two three four five and six and we're going to do a single crochet into the top of that chain and here we're going to work a little cluster and we're going to be working it into the next loop. But first we chain four. Then we're gonna work a cluster, double crochet three cluster in here with a chain four in between. So to do a double crochet chain cluster or three cluster, you yarn over once, insert your hook through the, the middle of the loop pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and then you repeat that two more times. Just pulling through two loops until you have three total double crochets. And then you yarn over and pull through all of the loops on your hook. Then you're gonna chain four and work one more double crochet three cluster into that same loop space. And so there we have our little clusters. Next, we're going to chain four this will be the beginning of a repeat. We're going to we're going to work this two times and then repeat it until the end. So you chain 4 and then we're going to count 6 up in the next loop. 1 2 3 4 5 6. Work a single crochet. We're going to do that one more time. Chain 4. and then work a single crochet into the next cluster or the next loop. One, two, three, four, five, six. And chain four. Now we're going to work another double crochet three cluster into the chain, into the loop space. chain four and work another double crochet three cluster into the same space. And this is where we're kind of cornering, cornering out. So that's going to be our repeat. We're going to repeat beginning with our chain four and refer to the written pattern if you'd like for this part because it can be a little confusing or tedious, I should say, not so much confusing, but so now we're going to do a single crochet in the sixth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to chain four. Move on over to the next loop. In the sixth chain, do a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. And remember to chain four after that one too. So are you getting the hang of it? Next we're going to do 
the double crochet three cluster into the next loop. Chain four in between the two clusters. And then we're going to do our repeat. So we start with a chain four. We do a chain four, then we do a single crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain four, double crochet, three cluster, chain four, double crochet, three cluster. So repeat that until you come around the very end, which we're almost there. So you can pause the video and come right back. Okay, so here I have done my entire round. Um, when you get to the end of the repeat, you'll end with the double crochet cluster, chain four and double crochet cluster. And then to join, we're going to do another chain four after this cluster. So you chain four. The last white stitch of the round, or you count up one, two, three, four, five into the fifth. And then next we're going to slip stitch into the next two chains and we're going to start round four now. So we're going to slip stitch into two. Hey, it's being tricky. So we've got one and two. And then we're going to chain three and do a double crochet two cluster into this same chain four space. So a double crochet two cluster is you yarn over first, insert your hook into the space, grab a loop and pull it up, yarn over and pull through two, and then repeat that one more time. And so now you'll have three loops on your hook, you yarn over and pull through all three. And even though that's not the chain here is considered a part of the cluster that we're working, so it kind of blends together, which makes it nice. So after we do that, we're going to chain four, and we're going to single crochet into the next chain four space. Then we're going to chain four again, and we're going to work a double crochet three cluster plus a chain four and another double crochet three cluster into this chain four space, which is considered a corner. And this will help you work it out easier if you find the repeats, because these are the corner stitches here. So let's do double crochet three cluster. A chain four. and a double crochet cluster. Double crochet three cluster. Okay, and once you finish that, we're gonna chain four. And then we're gonna single crochet into the next chain four space right here. We're going to chain four one more time and do a double crochet three cluster into this chain four space. Just one. We're going to chain four again and single crochet into the next chain four space. After that, we're going to chain four and we're going to work another double cluster into the corner space. So you yarn over, we're going to do two, a double three cluster, a chain four, and a double three cluster. Oops.
Okay, so I'm hoping you can kind of see what it's doing here and the repeat. So in the corner stitches, you're working the similar one. It's kind of extending it out. And then when you get to the center of the, the square, you're just doing one double crochet three cluster in that corner, in that right there. And then in between, you're doing chain four, single, chain four, chain four, single, chain four. That helps me when I'm doing repeats because sometimes looking at a written pattern makes my eyes go boggy, like boggly or whatever. <laughs> it's just, so like right here, we've already worked that. And what will help you work these next two corners, this and this, is to just remember chain four, single, chain four, double crochet cluster, chain four, single, chain four, and then work your double clusters in there. I hope that makes sense. So go ahead and pause the video, refer to the written pattern if you need it, and we'll come back and you'll be finished. Okay, here I'm at the end of my repeat and I'm coming up to the beginning of the round. So here, after we do our double crochet three clusters and the chain four in the corner, we're gonna do a chain four, single crochet, just like we did. And then to close it out, we're going to chain four and we're gonna work a slip stitch into the third chain of the chain three from the beginning of the round. So you're not actually going into the top of that two cluster, you're gonna go right next to it into the chain three. Like that. And that's it, so it's finished. And it's so cute. So of course you have your little tails and I might actually pull my little magic circle a little bit tighter. I got the right one. Yeah, there we go. And then of course it's a great idea to block it because this looks a lot better blocked. And it also looks really beautiful in a solid color. So I did two of them. And I first I did this one and I thought, I really think this would pop with changing the colors, doing a little color changes. So that's where I was wanting to decide to do this one because it just seems like it's a daisy. So I wanted the daisy to pop out, right? But it looks beautiful both ways, don't you think? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it wasn't too long, but these, mo these little squares take a little bit longer and I'd like to go through the pattern just a little bit more with you because I know some people are just complete visual learners and honestly, looking at this <laughs> can be difficult, even for me. Um, sometimes, like I said, my eyes go boggy looking at it. But anyway, so leave a little, um, Comment below if you have questions or hit that little bell if you want to be notified of future stitch tutorial videos. And I do this every week, I, at least I try. Um, if I don't get one each week, don't get mad at me because life happens, right? And I love you guys. Love you. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Happy crocheting.